it blows my mind that's like here we are on the other side of the US mm -hmm. but you know just 20 days ago we were looking at huge skyscrapers yeah. totally different environment oh it's what the heck how oh my <laughs> Guys, yeah. real life. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're such different people and coming from such different places. Growing up poor, you don't think that you're going to hop on a bus and go and interview the best of America. That doesn't happen every day. Nature is <laughs> something I don't see a lot of in city life in New York. Meeting new people that have had adversity. And went on to college to do incredible things in their community, but also in their own lives. We have the one and only Michelle Obama. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. She lived there. I'm going to be a freshman in college next year. Growing up, it was not easy to get into college. I had a lot of things that were put in my way. Freshman year of high school, I slipped. I didn't know what else to do other than adapt to my environment. You know, your environment, if you can't step back and gain some perspective, you don't know what it's doing to you. I had been hurt so much in the past. Everyone expected me to be statistic. You are in this space where you're functioning just to make it to the next day. But how did you decide that that no longer defined who you were? I was not expecting such a story. So real. It's not what I was expecting at all. I get like a level of excitement when I hear that someone else has gone through a similar situation as me. I want to come up to them and be like, I know what you mean. Every person in their life deals with some sort of obstacle, and that's powerful. It's hard to talk about because like, I never talked about it. I'm just trying to stay positive because like, there are days where it's hard for me, you know, to continue. Beating the odds is about attitude. It's about continuing pushing forward.